In this paper, we present a multi-step mechanism designed to enhance user agency and control in dialogue settings involving generative language models, GLMs. The mechanism consists of five key steps aimed at providing users with the ability to manage and filter content based on toxicity scores and personal preferences. In the first step, users are presented with model outputs and toxicity scores, where the level of toxicity is clearly indicated. By setting minimum and flexible thresholds for toxicity, users can easily discern the toxicity associated with each output, enabling informed decision-making. Following this, in step 2, users are given the option to preview flagged content and choose whether to skip automatic filters in the future. This feature empowers users to control the content they are exposed to, thereby enhancing their agency in the dialogue setting. If users opt to view the response in step 3, they are provided with the ability to categorize terms as permissible, exclude them from future toxicity scoring, or filter them for the remainder of the session. This level of customization empowers users to tailor their dialogue interactions according to their preferences, contributing to the establishment of user-specific norms for toxicity. Subsequently, participants are asked to complete a questionnaire in Step 4, evaluating the usability, perceived control, and costs of recourse associated with the mechanism. This data collection process enables researchers to assess the effectiveness of the mechanism in improving user experience and perceived control over dialogue interactions. Finally, in Step 5, descriptive and qualitative analyses are conducted to evaluate the impact of the mechanism on user experience and interactions with GLMs. Through this analysis, insights are gained into the feasibility and potential benefits of algorithmic recourse in enhancing the usability and controllability of GLMs in dialogue settings.